yeah what's up guys welcome back to my channel how is it going this is kiss fs trader right here and in this video i'm going to be answering a question someone asked me if boom and crash respects candlestick patterns and other trading patterns okay whether boom and crash pay attention or, or actually uh, respect this candlestick stuff and uh, other price action pattern because i always teach price action price action price action but it seems like it doesn't work on boom and crash and i say ah let's try it out today do it together and see if it works or not okay so if you have been using price action or this why you already know uh basic basic thing you need to know about price action uh how to identify the trend how to um draw your support and resistance how to check some patterns maybe candlestick pattern understanding different candlestick patterns okay now in this video you want to confirm if it works or not okay now basically if you want to see if you are using candlestick pattern okay you are using candlestick pattern you need to go to a higher time frame like one hour you have to go to one hour four hours one day 15 minutes minimum of five minutes okay let's say we go to um 15 minutes okay to see if those patterns actually works on uh boom and crash or not okay let's say um let's go to the uh, let's say current price okay what is happening here we have some candlesticks right here remember when a pin bar formed in an uptrend is more powerful than a shooting star forming in an uptrend like what happened here okay pay attention to this level okay if you have not if you don't know anything about candlestick pattern you should watch my previous videos i've been explaining this shooting star stuff and all that so but uh for those who don't actually know about pimba i said if you don't know any any of the candlestick pattern you should at least know the pimba candlestick pattern and the engulfing stick candlestick pattern okay now the pimba let me just show you for just to carry everybody along this right here is a pin bar okay so any candlestick with a long wick and a small body like this okay this is a bullish pin bar the opposite the opposite of a bullish pin bar is a bearish pin bar so this is the opposite of this bullish so the opposite of a bullish pin bar is the bearish pin bar so this one is the bearish pin bar guys which is this is a shooting star shooting star so we are going to do ss a shooting star and this one is the hammer okay this one is the hammer and this one is the shooting star guys okay so all you need to do is to follow me step by step and when we talk about the engulfing candlestick pattern let me do this again we have a long a kind of a candlestick that completely covers the previous one okay so let's say we have this right here okay then the next candlestick forms uh this way i want to use a bearish let me start with bearish here let me use um red okay let me go again with bullish let me do this now the next one form this way okay and the next candlestick opened and covers the previous one we have this so this candlestick right here let me change the color to black so this candlestick like right there is the engulfing candlestick because it completely engulfs this this candlestick here okay and even this one here so this engulfing candlestick is more powerful when it engulfs 
more than two candlesticks or three. But even though if you engulf one or cover, what I mean by engulf, it covers the previous one. You can see the length. Okay? You can see the length of this here and here. So it completely covers the two. So it engulfs the two. This is engulfing. There is bearish engulfing. The opposite is a bullish engulfing. So we are going to start with that in this chart. Now you can see this candlestick here. We have a pin bar right there and it formed in an uptrend which means the pin bar is powerful then look at the shooting star right here some people say it doesn't work well you don't know the rule shooting star formed here but shooting star formed in an uptrend so it is powerless the trend is the king the trend will always con control the market so some of you will see shooting star in in this 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 particular one here that is the bullish signal once you see it you enter a cell no you check the trend you must make sure that is a, is a downtrend when the shooting star formed okay either it formed in a downtrend or it formed on a resistance so if a shooting star let me show you something again let's say uh this right here is a support sorry resistance here and this one is support okay so and we have we have a shooting star here. Guys, pay attention. We have a shooting star here, this way. Okay? Sorry, <laughs> I have to cancel because it's not straight. So, let me draw well. Now we have a shooting star here. Okay? This is the shooting star. Maybe after this shooting star, we have another candlestick here. And this candlestick is known as Doji. Okay? That is the indecision candlestick. Now, this shooting star formed on a support level. So this is a, sorry, a resistance level. This is a resistance level. Okay? This is a resistance and this candlestick right there formed on that resistance level guys so once a shooting star which is a bearish signal form on a resistance which is resisting the price from going further upward this is a powerful selling signal all right because it formed on a resistance the same thing when you see a bullish pin bar formed on a support which is a pin bar let's say you see a pin bar maybe formed here okay this is a pin bar right there then maybe after a pin bar you see uh another engulfing candlestick you see engulfing candlestick right there then this is a powerful signal also you have the price at support level okay you have the price at support level here and you have two powerful signals you have two bullish powerful signals which is the pin bar candlestick that is bullish pin bar which is a hammer and a uh, bullish engulfing okay this is a signal a buying signal so the problem is that some of us don't know the rules of these candlesticks. We just enter because you have seen a shooting star is a sell. No, you must consider the trend. You must consider the place where it formed. So if a shooting star, if you did not learn anything in this video, learn that if a, a shooting star, which is a bearish pin bar, formed on a resistance, is very powerful. It's a selling signal. If a hammer formed on a support it is a bullish signal and if it's a if if a, a bullish uh uh, uh pimba which is hammer formed like what happened here formed on an uptrend if you see this is an uptrend guys so once you see this pimba formed in this kind of trend like this one this is confirmation of a buy 
but if a shooting star form here like this one guys we cancel because it's forming at the wrong place so they can you must make sure that the candlestick form at the right place for it to hold so if it's formed at the wrong place it is not going to hold okay so now let's use this you can see number one example right here okay so we are going to look for more example look at this example here this is pin back and this is bullish pin back it's formed on a downtrend after double top which we are supposed after this double top we have a double top here forming m pattern guys pull back come back again we are expecting a downtrend right now right and we have a, a, a hammer right there formed at this point so what are you expecting you should know that it's not going to it, it, the hammer is not going to hold because the hammer is forming on a downtrend and which which is is disobeying the rule the hammer must form at a support or that a hammer must form at a support or on an uptrend for it to hold a shooting star must form at a resistance or on a downtrend to hold to be more powerful it doesn't mean that if you see it anywhere it might it, it will not hold no we are talking about accuracy you want to be more accurate while trading okay you can see another example right here shooting star is forming in an uptrend so it's not going to be powerful and that's why you have these more spikes here okay so let's go down to see why okay now look at this this is a doji anyway then look at this one here it's also a doji so we want to see another example of uh okay we have a a hammer right here pay attention for you to see that this thing works well on boom and crash now we have a hammer right here but the hammer formed on a downtrend guys you can see that this is a downtrend this is a downtrend guys so but the hammer formed here on a downtrend which is the reason why it did not hold and the price keep going down but go up and see a shooting star here you can see shooting star right there formed on a downtrend and that's why the price keep moving down okay so you see how amazing these candlesticks are you can see this shooting star right there it's formed on a downtrend the price is already going down and it's formed to confirm the downtrend and once it's formed another shooting star formed again and they push this price downward so this is how perfect candlesticks works on boom and crash okay but you must pay attention to the time frame if you go to one minute time frame you are not going to see all these things you are not going to see all these things but go to five minutes time frame can you see a hammer can you see what i'm talking about a hammer formed on a support and once this hammer formed we have this spike after this hammer look at the spike up guys you see how it works it works on five from five minutes time frame up but if you go to one minute time frame you will hardly see that you will, you will hardly understand this so the problem is that some of you are using one minute time frame and you'll be like ah the candlestick stuff is not working on boom and crash no you are using a lower time frame you must start from five minutes time frame up so if i should scroll back to 30 minutes time frame let's just go back randomly to see guys see this you can see this you can also see a, a, a shooting star here when the price have reversed and start going up it did not hold the price keep going and look at a hammer again form to confirm this so if you miss this entry look at the points you enter again after the formation of this hammer let me change the color of this hammer right here sorry i need to use this is a hammer guys so after the formation of this hammer you should enter a buy at this level okay so you see how this candlestick stuff works you must go to a higher time frame look at this one guys look at another example look at another example we have a shooting star right here at a resistance level you can see our line there you can see the shooting star is at a resistance level and after that the price crashed down so this is very powerful 
the same way other trading pattern like double top double bottom cup and hand cup and handle uh head and shoulder any of the patterns you are talking about the uh, triangle the descending channel the ascending channel all these things are here on boom and crash the only thing you need to do is to go to a higher time frame to view this to see this so you can basically trade candlestick patterns just on boom and crash you can see we have a support right here that's why i said the problem is sorry the problem is not about whether it works or not the problem is that you don't know how to apply them you don't know how to use them there's an example i want to show you guys before this you can see uh here you can see them here you can see another example right here you can see this and you can also see this you see how these things work on the support level and they form and you see the price boom going up okay so once you see it look at another example right here it's keep, keep happening it keep happening guys got another example here so this is how to identify this you must make sure you're in a higher time frame for you to see this you must make sure you're in a higher time frame for you to identify this don't do this on one minute time frame minimum of five minutes time frame then you should go up and it works best from 15 minutes time frame up but you can still use five minutes time frame guys if you love at all you like this video you love what i do please consider smashing that like button leave a comment Re recommend or suggest the next candlestick pattern you yeah, should treat or any pattern at all and i will tell you i will teach you how to use them how to enter them and how to exit the when you enter okay so i just wanted to show you in this video that candlestick patterns works on boom and crash yeah so they asked me the question and i have to answer it here so i'll see you guys in my next video bye for now hope you enjoyed the video